Hello, Josh and Sam, and welcome back to the uh, football manager game, Western Supermare. We're about to play the second leg of the League Cup. As you can see here, we won 1-0 in the previous game away at the uh, Berlin ground. Let's just look at the fixtures, what's happened in between the last time we met, which was when we played Tottenham. So we play, we beat uh, West Ham with a one to the nils. Uh, a Mads Christensen goal uh, settled that one, although we could have had ten. Um, we then had a sensational four-two win against Arsenal. Uh, Georgie Cunningham got all four. Absolutely brilliant game, uh, and that really has put the cat amongst the pigeons. Uh, then we played. We followed that up with a game against Wolves, where Cunningham got a hat trick again. Spencer also scored, so that's seven in two for young Mr Cunningham and then he followed that up with an extra, extra goal in a 4-1 win against Birmingham in which all the goals came in the second half uh, we were dreadful uh, at finishing in the first half we'd had four uh, chances hit the crossbar uh, and all the post I um, berated them at half time and told them they're not doing good enough and that they needed to up their game and they did so what we have coming up next what we have coming up next is the um, game against West Ham United to get us into the League Cup final, if we get there. And then we have a, a FA Cup fourth round game against Fulham, who are from a different league, and I'll show you about them later on. But let's do the West Ham game first. Um, they've got Ruud Rurlifsson, who's their top scorer in the League Cup. Uh, we're going to start with Spencer. We I played a very weakened team um, to kick off the game against... Um, to kick off the game against our friends from uh, West Ham and now I'm going to uh, revert a lot of those changes um, so we will play uh, and Casola has asked to stay so he may now rejoin the bench um, Dania Machkovic or should Dania play I'm going to let Dania play uh, we've got also Mads Pedersen but Christiansen is playing better at the moment uh, but now I'm going to make Pedersen play because then Christiansen can play against uh, Fulham. So let's look. Was that goal scored in a row? 25 games without without not scoring, or 25 games scored in a row? Uh, assertive. Come on, lads. Show me what you can do. Passionate. Get out there. Passionate. There's a lot more to come. Passionate. There's a lot more to come, and I fully believe you've got what it takes. Uh, did I not press go? Did I? Or did I not? Okay, I did. Good. Pedersen with a free kick early on. Or oh, Barry Fidan saves nicely. Um, what's happening now? It's a great tackle. Oh, Lazar Markovic. He's real. He's still around. Good lad. Pedersen on the ring. On the ring. Dania Fitzgerald. Dania Fitzgerald. He's gone past his man. Pedersen's in there on it. Ah, oh, he finishes well, but he was offside. Shame. Shame. Cool. What's going to happen now? Two players. McCoubrey wins it. Fitzgerald to Dania to Elias. He goes past his man. He cuts it back to Fitzgerald. Dania back out to Fitzgerald uh, to Elias. He's got the ball to Pedersen, who scores from an impossible angle. That's 2-0 up on aggregate. Noise. 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 Anything else really to say about that? No. Great, great finish. It's an absolutely sensational finish. So, I've got the fan on. I've got the window open. So, there's going to be noise from... Mr. Man and his bloody digger. Who's just... He's literally dumping piles of stones. And then, and then like, dragging the digger tipper box over them. Pedersen scores again. Lovely stuff. Uh, yeah, so it's um, it's pretty annoying. He's literally just driving about, crushing ro rocks into the ground. Uh, I've got the fan on because it's warm, even with the door open. There's no wind at all, uh, which is nice in some ways, but it's not nice when you're sat indoors all day for work, um, which is clearly going very well. Um, Pedersen now. Nieto. It looks like we've already made booked ourselves into the uh, League Cup final, which looks like it's going to be against Man United. Uh, they won their first leg 1-0. Uh, they aren't playing today. What are West Ham doing? 4-4-2 standard. Uh, Dania, Spencer. We're entertaining a lot of bids at the moment for uh, Gonzalez, the youth player who scored in one of the Champions League games. Uh, I will not obviously be selling him because he's great. Um, I was considering calling him up to play in this game, but I thought better to better to get there. 
and try and get ourselves another trophy this season because we could really make a memorable season for us this season if we say season any more than we just said seasons. So, Dania, cross the back post. Bayon tries to get the doesn't. Fitzgerald, Spencer, Makubri, Nieto. Oh, it would have been excellently. Would have been an excellent goal. We are piling on the pressure. We are pressure pilers. Oh, but they've got a potential chance to have a goal back. No. Do, 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 do. Yes, she. He misses. Jesse. James. West Ham blasts off at the speed of light. Pedersen with a free kick for a hat trick. No. Pedersen's first goals in a little while, those were, by the way, um, which is um, sort of disappointing, but it's good that he's finally sort of managed to break that duck, I guess. Um, uh, luckily, Cunningham has been sort of filling in, having gone through a rough patch himself. He's now, as I just mentioned, got eight in three. So, <laughs> not bad. And we should be getting back. So, basically, we've also, just just as soon as they all got fit, um, Sabani and Zatuni both went off to different cups. I think one is at the Asian Cup, uh, like the Asian version of the uh, European Championships. And, uh, oh, and um, Zatuni is at the African Cup of Nations. So, we are a player down in that regard. Uh, or two players down so we, we don't have very much cover up front I mean as soon as Zatuni comes back he's going straight back in the side hopefully he can uh, help fire us on to glory but we've managed to avoid a kind of Liverpool style collapse when they don't have Mane during the um, during the winter months so that's good in fact we, we've excelled Cunningham but he does manage to finish it off eventually <laughs> hits the post from two yards and then manages to slot the ball home very nice we are 3-0 up in this League Cup semi-final, meaning we are 4-0 up on aggregate, meaning we will be going to Wembley to face someone. Who that someone is, I just don't know. We're playing excellently well. I'm very happy. Keep going, lads. Nothing more to say, really. Oh, no, no bugger it. I don't want to see him. I didn't think that would work. I thought it might bring up his name, but it didn't. Um, good. Someone's needing physio treatment. Who's that? Nieto. Yeah, let's bring him off. Just in case. I know he's not needing to come off, but let's do it anyway. Nieto, off you come. Yes, please. Nieto, off you come. I've had to make myself a second... No, a third cup of tea. Uh, I'm starting to flag a little bit after sitting up with my laptops on for close to... Well, it's now eight hours. Uh, only the four and a half to go um, so it must have been about seven and a half hours actually but yeah I had one thing to do I've had to help a man try and find some gel in my bathroom which is not a euphemism I uh, have recorded a couple of these videos I had some food I chatted very briefly with Masha I'll chat again with Masha once we're finished with this video um, I watched a couple of YouTube videos and I uploaded a bunch of videos and yeah it's not been a very productive day frank frankly um, and it's so goddamn lovely outside I think that's what's making it drag when it's raining and horrible outside the days seem to go quite quickly um, but it, when it's sunny you just look outside and you, you think oh but it's all right because I finish at six and then I can do this and I can you know I can actually it's 6 30 or maybe even 6.45. Anyway, the point is, I finish I finish at that, around that kind of time. So then, then you start making plans. You're like, yeah, the shop will still be open. So I'll go to the shop and I'll get a couple of things. I'll get some yogurts, get like a couple of ice creams, maybe a cold beer, and I'll sit on the balcony and enjoy the last couple of hours of sun. Um, and the more you do that, the more it becomes appealing. And the more it becomes appealing, the longer it takes to get there. So I'm going to stop doing that because... Um, I'm, it's starting to affect me again because I just did that little chat. Um, right, right. Anyway, let's do some football instead. Um, Figueroa is playing well. Figuera is playing well. Casolo hasn't played for ages. Um, there's no point really substituting the goalkeeper though. Um, let's give. Let's warm up Christiansen for his um, Fulham game, and I'll give Abdallah a little bit of a run out because he's not played since he got sent off. So. Let's give him a little bit of time to recover some match fitness. Match fitness. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, mate, come on. Get off the pitch. He's 
playing in the centre. I could see if it didn't. If I hadn't just made substitutions, I could have told them to play it through the centre whilst we're waiting, whilst we know he's off, um, which would be the sneaky management thing to do. But by the time I actually get a chance to do that, he will be back on. I expect. No, he's actually been. I think he's been substituted. Has he been substituted? Keep on him. What's going on? Nothing is happening. Someone's got injured. That's brilliant. <laughs> I just put him on for warm-up and then he gets uh, injured. Mm -hmm. Broken leg, what, what, what? Don't know. But, I mean, I hope it's not a bloody broken leg. Um, Fitzgerald. Markovic to Shaw. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Figuera, Mounier. See, I thought this would have been slightly more interesting, but uh, unfortunately, as it has been, as it, as it has transpired, West Ham has been toothless. And we have been dominant. And I have been putting my hand in front of my mouth. As I scratch my chin. Chin scratching. Western Supermare have reached the final of the League Cup for only the second time. Excellent work there, boys. You completely deserved it. And I completely agree with that statement. Bosco, Hos Bosco Hosielavski. Um, we played Birmingham. Birmingham have a player on loan from, I think, Marseille or possibly Lyon, who is excellent. Uh, four to five days, that's fine. He'll be back after the Fulham game, but whatever, that doesn't matter too much. Uh, Pedersen was on form, that is true. He's starting to look a bit old over there, which is a shame. Uh, West Ham in dreadful form. Uh, it's a brilliant feeling. Um, I think we have a fantastic chance of doing exactly that. Um, I feel confident and I want him to play later. Pedersen had a great game. He was simply faultless. Can we stop talking about him, please? I mean, he's great, but... Um, can we just get on with the Fulham game? I'm going to play as many young players as possible because, as I will point out to you just before the game, they are in League One. We'll have a look. We'll use this as an opportunity to look through the other leagues um, and see what's going on. Uh, so we should... Will we be able to find out soon who we're going to play in the... Wojciech? Yeah. Will we be able to start, find out soon who we're going to face in the final of the League Cup? I would like to know if it's Man United or I think maybe Southampton is the other team. No. Yes. Three goals. <laughs> Fine, you can have him. They've, they've been on a uh, Villa. They've been on an absolutely... Uh, yeah, well, so great. Man United versus... Uh, uh, Man United versus Western Supermare in the final. A repeat of the final from three years ago? Will it tell us? It, will it say we? Yeah, we actually played each other in the final of the League Cup back in 2022. Um, so five years ago, we played in the final. Since then, they've won it twice. Um, Villa has actually won it once. Leicester won it last year, of course. Uh, hopefully, we can repeat our 2022 success because that season, when we won the League Cup, we also won the league. I'm going to have a mouthful of tea. Hopefully, it's not too hot. No, it's just lovely. Okay, Man City boss is set to spend his transfer budget. Well, you're not going to get him for 20 million. I only bought him for 20 million. You're going to get him for 40 million if you're going to get him at all, and you're not going to get him at all. And also Engblom for eight and a half million. Yeah, all right. And suddenly, that's suddenly the best best centre back in the world for eight million. You have it, mate. You have him. We don't want him. We don't care, mate. We we actually um, we only wanted to get to January uh, on top of the league, and then we wanted to just sort of let it run away from us. Nenad Mladenovic. Oh, he's looking decent. Uh, let's have a look at him from a Nuno Valente point of view. Uh, what does... Uh, oh, we don't actually have... No, we do have reports. He said he could be better than... He's not going to be better than Dania. And we could, but we could get him for £65,000, so we could make a tidy profit on him. Um, ooh, text. It's from Sam saying he's not going to watch all my videos right now because he wants to play his own game. <laughs> fair enough right let's go to the press conference um, I would say I'm confident uh, attack that would be Cunningham although will he be playing yes he probably will be um, occasions like this is what f make football what it is uh, it's I don't think it will be a problem my team is always motivated regardless of opposition and they will be so let's look at the leagues whilst we uh, just before we play Fulham um, obviously this is the Premier League uh, Sheffield United and Huddersfield looking pretty certain to go down well maybe not Huddersfield but Sheffield United certainly are looking pretty poor um, no one has conceded a hilarious number of goals uh, yet anyway um, now then if we go down to the Championship West Brom and Everton leading the way maybe Everton could make the return to the Premier League for the first time in how many years one, 
two, three, four, five. So it would be five years since Everton uh, were last in the Premier League, and if they come up this time round, um, interesting lead, an interesting chasing pack, including Bradford and Luton. Uh, Bolton would make a return to the Premier League, which wouldn't be uninspiring considering last time they were there they conceded over 100 goals, I believe. Um, Charlton are putting their administration woes behind them, and uh, it's a shame because they would be within touching distance of the playoffs, but uh, as it is, they're in 19th because they were naughty with their money. Um, Forest are also without outside chance of getting into the playoffs. I'd like Forest or Leeds or someone a bit different to come up, that'd be fun. Uh, maybe a derby. Um, Obviously, a Portsmouth and Newcastle have got no chance. I don't know why they, how they're so poor. Um, but I wouldn't mind a Southend or a Carlisle sneaking in. That'd be fun. Um, Sheffield Wednesday only just came down, going straight back down again the other end, it looks like. Uh, doing El Sunderland, as they call it. Uh, League One, Exeter, Colchester, Fulham. That's where, we, that's where our opponents for today are. Um, Crew have had a remarkable turnaround in the last few weeks and now suddenly sit 18th. So that's partly to do with the next Eric Cantona, uh, Johan uh, Swindon now dropping uh, slightly they are now only in second they were winning the league by a canter uh, Fleetwood have managed to get to positive points at last <laughs> but they would be only on 17 even if they hadn't so that's pretty poor in fact both those two teams would be where they are now anyway if they hadn't had their points deducted so no he's about to play for me I'm not Nenad Mlenendovic. Do I want to buy him from FK Dukla? Banska Bistrika. Average attendance by capacity. Ooh, someone's got a motorbike. And they don't mind showing it. David Gamara. Lucas Piazon. He's real, isn't he? Or, I mean, he probably is just another... There's like a thousand uh, new... Uh, no, you're not having him. Oh, they did offer 12 and a half... Well, 12.35... Oh, bugger it. 12.75 million. Uh, but no, you're still not having him. You would need to pay me at least 35, and even then I would say no. That is unex is not unexpected, but I will I will acquiesce. You can have a massive goal bonus because you're a centre-back and it doesn't matter. And I'll try and do that. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, let's go like that and say that. Yes, shave £7,000 off his deal. That's fine by me. Okay, uh, Arsenal have drawn nil-nil with Brentford. Unlucky chucks. Still got a Blue Square South team in there, Bath City. Going away to Championship side, Southend United. Obviously they would have liked to have drawn the Champions of Europe, West of the Supermare, but that may have to wait. Uh, okay, so we're going to play Casolo in goal for the first time in a while. We're going to play Georges at right back. We're going to play Victor Marcolin. Who is a he is a right midfielder? I have got him training um, to improve himself in that position anyway. But yeah, he is already a, a competent right midfielder. Um, now let's go down to the under 18s. Why are so many of them ineligible? Why are all the ones I want to play in? Why are they ineligible? Oh, they're playing today. Well, I don't want him to play in the under 18s. I want him to play in my game. What? If I wanted to play Gonya. I wanted to Gogna or whatever. I wanted to play Christopoulos. I wanted to play. Do we not have any of them, the interesting ones? No, they're all playing for the youth team. <sighs> Lino Fiorentini is the only one that I'm. I know, and even he's not actually foreign. He is sort of, but he's not. Like, I didn't sign him. Oi, oi, So there's literally no point. All of these players are crap. So there's no point giving them game time. Fine, then. We will play with the weakest team we can possibly put out, which would be because we want to play City. It's going to have to be that team then, isn't it? I guess we'll put no, no, I won't put Christiansen on. I'll just put Elias on the on the bench. Fine, that's annoying. Bollocks. You'd think they would allow me to hit my starting lineup before they do. Also, what crazy ass tactic are they using? And why are they in such poor morale? They're third. Maybe they've been on a bit of a losing streak. Let's just quickly go to Fulham. We can't. Let's do this. Pause. Let's go to Fulham. See their squad. See their fixtures. Yeah, yeah they're in terrible, fo terrible form. Yeah. Idiots. Okay. Let's carry on then. 
what formation are they playing? This is strange 3 2 3 2 or 3 5 2 as the game calls it, which is probably fine. I'll allow it. Georges. Marcolin nearly scores his first goal for the club, but here's the key he didn't. Carlisle are knocking out Leicester as it stands. Scores on the diddly doors. Mads Pedersen goes past his man. Oh, Mitrovic. M Mikovic. Oh, O'Reilly. O'Reilly. McCubrey, Danya. No, I mean, there's no team in the land in real life. Good finish from Cunningham, but he's probably going to get a freaking hatful today. Uh, there's no team in the land whose manager couldn't pick his team because his under-18s manager was like, nah, nah, mate. Big game for us. Sorry, I want to play them in the FA Cup fourth round, mate. Who even picks the youth team on this? Because I know later on in the game you can get youth managers and stuff, but I don't think in this game you do. So who is picking the youth team? <laughs> who, who is the youth team manager? Oh, it might be German Lutz. In which case, why is he even... He's my assistant manager. You'd think... In like the kind of pretend world, I'd have told him that I might was planning to do that rather than just it comes to the day and I suddenly realise he's off on a bus somewhere with all of my young talent <laughs> going to Stains under 18s or something like that. Dick. Daniel crosses the box. Bayon. Oh, Ratcliffe saves. Uh, Spencer comes in at the back post to finish. I I like a classy goal. Down in Craven Cottage, of course, in London. We're gonna have a nice day out afterwards. Might take them to have an ice cream. Uh, probably not though. This, the days are long gone when I used to pretend that I would uh, drive them all home in the minibus, uh, buying them a bag of chips if they won. <laughs> uh, that probably wouldn't be the case now with our um, with our. Oh goodness me! Oh, I didn't say by the way that now, now that our youth facilities have been fully successfully upgraded. Um, that or rather that upgrade has been complete. Our, our youth system, our, our youth system is officially average, <laughs> and it only took us uh, 15 years of being the manager of this club to get average youth, uh, average youth facilities, and we've still got adequate training facilities, but they will be soon average as well. But the the amount of time it took them to upgrade them, it made me think that they might be building a new sort of whole kind of. Um, complex thing like Man City have in which case you'd think that it would immediately be great but I don't know Carl Craven playing at Craven Cottage Bayon George I like saying his name with a hard J oh is that a penalty? No it's a free kick from Craven again two free kicks in a minute Dania Craven then clears it he's, a, he's all action defender Mark Alin, terrible finishing Pedersen there. Chadwick. Milikovic. Dania. Here he comes with the ball. Bayon. Oh. Was that a crossbar hit or was that a save? Oh man, we were absolutely dominating them. Even in possession statistics. Spencer scores an absolute worldie. Um, yeah, we are destroying them. This is disappointing. This is a waste of a game, really, because I could have used this to blood some youngsters. But the damned German Luz and his obsession with stealing all of my children. Well, good, I suppose. Uh, let's, it, 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 so there's interesting things. So I thought action zones would be really helpful, but it's not at all. I really wanted it to be like a heat map. Um, so... Uh, but we can we can go through a couple of these things. Oh no, we can't because obviously he's he, despite. Oh, why am I, I? Why did I do that? You went that. Oh, Jesus, man. Yeah, yeah. You're only three nil up, lads. <laughs> uh, calm. You weren't that bad. Yeah, sorry guys. I didn't. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm going mad. Um, you can read a match report. I don't want to do that. Goal updates. What's that? Oh, it just tells you when someone scored. That's quite interesting. Did, oh, I was going to say, did that say Swindon are winning 3-0 against Fulham? But no, it's obviously us that are winning 3-0 against Fulham. Cunningham. Um, I can see our own... F I can see their motivation. This seems odd, right? This seems odd that you can do this because obviously in real life you can't... I mean, they're all, they're all they're playing terribly, except for Campbell. Andy Campbell. Let me just pause a second. Andy Campbell, I think, used to play for Liverpool. Yeah, he did, yeah. 
he was good. I tried to get him. Uh, I tried to sign him because I thought he was going to be very good, but he turned out he's not going. He didn't end up ever getting that good. Um, he's okay. Anyway, he's doing fine. He, he's doing okay in this game. Oh, how many bloody maps did I go through? Yeah, he's doing okay. Um, other than him, though, I don't think I know any of their players. Cunningham, no. They've taken off there. Defender Ratcliffe, Jason Ratcliffe. So, but this is interesting. My point of bringing it up was it seems like a bit of a sort of cheat because uh, you can't really do that in real life. I mean, I suppose you can by by looking, but you, I can't tell that he's having a poor game. Uh, well, I suppose it is because you would be able to tell that, but you can't tell because they're dots. You can't see if someone's having a bad game necessarily, and we only see the highlights as well. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I mean, uh, to what end you can then use that to... To, or to what extent you can then use that to change the way you're playing, I don't know. I suppose you could go in and sort of like tell them to target one or the other of the players. Um, anyway. Markelin, still yet to be particularly impressive. Um, the radar's fun. What on earth is the point of that? Um, match information. So if you want to remember that it was three degrees in this lovely February morning or is it slightly late to January Markaline, oh you fool Alexander Misovic okay, so we're getting a couple of yellow cards, Nieto's tired as always uh, no he's not, what? Well, it's different here than it is here, okay well let's believe let's pause and let's believe what it says down there oh yeah they've updated, okay fine Um. <laughs> Um, let's give Matchkovic his due and it will allow in fact we're going to play both of those two because Abdullah no because we need Spencer for the next game yeah because uh, what's his name our Colombian central defensive midfield slash defender uh, he got injured for five weeks of course so we need to keep Spencer fit That you, you made that substitution 10... Oh, no, they didn't. What the hell? The numbers are all messing up. I thought they went up to 89 for a second. Then. <sighs> Campbell. They're still playing in this odd formation. Could have used like a kind of play it into the channels kind of uh, instruction. Might have brought us more luck, but we're never going to need it against this lot. Any other interesting scores from On The Doors? Swansea winning... Man City, Neymar scoring against Leeds. Uh, Leicester now back in front, beating Carlisle 3-1. Uh, Charlton. Um, I think Bath are getting spanked there. Did I see that? Did they get knocked out? Yes, they did. Southend thumped them 5-0. I wonder how far we can go in this competition without drawing a big team. Because so far we've had an, a relatively easy run after me complaining for the couple, past couple of seasons about our draws in these damn cups. I seem to have got an easy-ish run so far at least to the quarterfinals um, nice any interesting things there no not really no shocks although I suppose Bristol City drawing with Wolves is a bit of a shock um, Johan did well and they won again wow uh, our QPR match has been rearranged for our Luton versus because oh, they've got to play a replay <laughs> Uh, well, maybe that gives us a week off then, because it's not us getting an added game, it's them getting added games. That might give us a, a couple of days free, or maybe it'll just push it back by a day or two, meaning that then our next game will be super congested. I love congestion. Anyway, that's the end of this video. Um, I was hoping it might... Oh, yeah, we've gone 42 games unbeaten, by the way. Um, <laughs> uh, I'm thinking we'll play... Oh, that, well, that tells itself, doesn't it? Real Madrid, and then Man United. We'll play those two. First leg of the Champions League knockout and the League Cup final. That's where we'll play next. So see you then, guys. Bye.